We are told by Mohammedan Muslims, mostly male, that women are treated extremely well in Islam. We also see interviews with some Mohammedan women who are almost completely covered except for their face and sometimes only their eyes showing, confessing that they are liberated by their faith. Is this reality? Muhammad had a very conflicted attitude towards women. Although several verses in the Quran display some compassion towards them, nonetheless, other verses which abrogate and overrule the earlier ones show a distinctly low esteem for them in general. They are looked upon primarily as an object for sexual gratification and procreation. This is reflected in many verses of the Quran and many more, even more derogatory, in the Ahadith. Chapter 2, verse 223. Your wives are a tilth unto you, so approach your tilth when or how you will. Muhammadan Islam relegates womanhood to the level of a field suitable for plowing and sowing seed, and the man as the tiller. The Muslim wife is only a sex object for the Muslim husband's pleasure and desires, when, where, and how it suits him. What are mandated under Sharia law are immoral, unjust, and unacceptable instructions such as that women can be sexually violated in any manner, time, or place that the Muslim man deems fit, that a husband may beat his wife with or without a reason at will, that a woman cannot sue for divorce on any grounds, etc., etc. Women are invariably considered as objects for the Muhammadan man's pleasure and gratification, his plaything. Chapter 4, verse 3. It says, If you fear that you shall not be able to deal justly with orphans, marry women of your choice who seem good to you, two or three or four. Chapter 4, 11. Allah directs you in regard of your children's inheritance to the male a portion equal to that of two females. Chapter 4, verse 34. Men are the protectors and maintainers of women. The righteous women are devout. As to those women on whose part you fear disloyalty and ill conduct, admonish them. Refuse to share their bed, beat them. Chapter 4, verse 43. Believers, if you are ill or on a journey, or come from answering the call of nature, or if you have touched a woman and you find no water, then take for yourselves clean dirt and rub your faces and hands. The Quran claims that women are so unclean and polluted that they are worse than dirt. Verse 33, 59. Prophet, tell your wives and daughters and all believing women that they should cast their outer garments over their persons. As usual in the translation and interpretation of the Quranic verses, the Muhammadan scholars, all male, create rules and regulations to humiliate and make women subject to the dictates of the Muhammadan male chauvinists under all circumstances. These were and are nefarious, oppressive, and the inhumane acts of control and subjugation. I have absolutely no doubt that the listeners would be utterly shocked to find out that nowhere in the whole of the Quran is there any mention whatsoever of the veil, hijab, as a covering of women. The idea that only a woman's eyes should be exposed out of her whole body is not only morally bereft of justice and equality, but is utterly obscene and totally ungodly. God did not create women so that only men should be allowed to strut on the face of the earth, not fully covered as the women. Another remarkable story is buried in the tradition that Aisha, the wife of Muhammad, related that he did not force his wives to wear the hijab, as in Sahih Bukhari Hadith 8.257, narrated by Aisha. Umar ibn Khattab used to say to Allah Apostle, let your wives be veiled, but he did not do so. Sahih Bukhari Hadith 1.301, narrated by Abu Sa'id al-Khudri, once Allah Apostle went out and he passed some women and he said, O women, give alms as I have seen that the majority of the dwellers of hellfire were you, women. They asked, Why is it so, O Allah Apostle? He replied, 
You curse frequently and are ungrateful to your husbands. I have not seen anyone more deficient in intelligence and religion than you. A cautious, sensible man could be led astray by some of you. In Sahih Bukhari Hadith 1.493 narrated by Aisha, the Prophet said, the things which annul prayer were mentioned before me, and those were a dog, a donkey, and a woman. I said, you have compared us women to donkeys and dogs. Sahih Bukhari 7.33 narrated by Osama bin Zaid. The Prophet said, after me, I have not left any affliction more harmful to men than women. In reality, the most accurate appraiser, appraisal of women in Muhammadan Islam is one found in Mishkat al-Masabih, volume 2, page 692, by Walid al-Din Abdullah Mahmoud al-Tabrizi. He said, a woman is like a private part. When she goes out, the devil casts a glance at her. That is why women in Muhammadan Islam have to be covered from head to toe because every square inch of their body is like a genital, which would arouse the uncontrollable sexual desires of the Muhammadan males. The references that I quoted so far are only a fraction of more to be found in the Quran and the Hadith, but I hope will suffice to demonstrate the reality of how women actually fare under Muhammadan Islam as compared to the lies and falsehoods repeatedly declared by invariably the male Muhammadan Muslims in the news media.